Okay, we're uh, flying over some of the local uh, pine forests here just north of the homestead. And uh, we're using uh, hot black thermal. And we're looking for any kinds of forms of life, uh, animals, birds, whatever we'll, we can pick up under the... Uh, thermal settings that we're at and we're using hot black as a guide for the for the hottest right and we're setting it up into the 90s uh, so we can actually see if we can find some deer or, or any type of animal that's big enough that we can get a, a heat signature from and we haven't had a whole lot of luck I haven't seen hardly any deer especially from the air. Now, we've run into a, to a small herd twice. It was four deer or so in the herd, and, uh, and it, it was pretty close to the same place that we were in as this is here. And uh, we're using the Anifa, the Parrot Anifa. Uh, it's got a 3X zoom lens on it. Plus, it's got the thermal or it's got a 4K camera on it, which it can do just about anything. It's it's awesome. Uh, it works real well. I mean, it can do slow motion, stop motion. It can do all kinds of stuff that we can use later on. But right now, we're really trying to find settings and things that we can actually pick up animal heat sense. An animal can can get out into the open or whatever. Uh, what we're looking for is the dark areas. Any kind, of, any dark area that that sends, tends to show up, like you know, the black areas. We like to check out because there could be animals there. They could be land down. There could, there's a lot of things that they, you know animals can do. Now we do pick up two real good. Uh, heat signals right there okay and there's a couple more and those are excellent signals right there and they actually turn out to be deer um, we, you, you'll see a little bit further on when we can when we zoom in there's a, a big buck out front and then there's a, a doe behind the, the doe is the one that's running right now right there that's the doe and you can see there's no antlers on her but the buck has uh, antlers. You can see the large antlers on them. And uh, we'll, we'll lock in and, and, and show you that. It's really awesome. I am so proud and so happy with this uh, Anifa drone. This is the first day that we've seen any animals. And, uh, and we, again, it's going to be a while until we get it actually, the, all the sensors set to where we really want them. Here we have them a little bit over overexposed and you can see it's, it's picking up the heat coming off the ground. Now that can clear up and if it does it's going to cut the sensitivity down to where I can't see what well, you know our targets. That's that's what I'm, I'm worried about. Again I, we're only using this this stuff to, to track animals to uh, find out their patterns, uh, what they're doing, how when they're moving and so forth. Here we pick up another set back in the in the in the top. And that's an awesome signal right there. And you can see it it's she's still moving or he's still moving. And uh, they're trying to use the the trees for cover and that's cool. You know, I'm not exactly sure whether they know what they're being watched from above or or not. Uh and I, it, when it's up, it, we're 250 feet above the surface of the earth right there. And that's it. That's zoomed out right there. And that's, that's the 250 feet. 